mean, we're experiencing convergence as far as advertisers are concerned. You know, most of our television clients are now buying digital as well, and they see the two working very much together. I think that's a trend that's going to continue. I think the big debate here, and the big debate wherever we go, is what's the future of branding? You know, what's the future versus search? And I'm a big believer, and we at the BBC are a big believer, that content uh, will win out, and still the requirement to build brands and create awareness in consumers is as important as the transactional aspect at the other end of the purchase funnel. So uh, there's a lot, a lot going on to sort out that ecosystem to make sure that the transition into digital uh, doesn't lose the, the ability to build brands because uh, that's still essential to the marketing mix. Absolutely. I mean, I think, you know, platforms are great, but platforms are literally empty without great content. And I don't think one thing that will not change as far as consumers are concerned, and that's, you know, the desire to see great content, but wherever they want to see it. So that might be a, a small snippet of top gear, it might be the whole show, it depends on where they are and what device they're using. But professionally produced great entertainment and, and great factual content and great news is going to be a constant uh, for as long as we can see. So uh, it makes my life very much easier to be in one of the world's greatest content producers. Well, Asia, I think you know we all know that Asia is uh, is probably the least caused and least affected by the recession, but generally has the economies that will drive growth for the next 10 years and beyond and become world powers. So, you know, Asia has to be a focus. We're very fortunate in that our products are doing so well here. You know, BBC.com has grown 21% in the last 12 months and it's, you know, twice as big as its nearest news rival. So, for us, it has to be a focus. Uh, and such diverse uh, economies, such great um, potential, such as China and India, cannot be ignored if you're a global player. Well, you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion. Um, it's interesting that if you live in the UK uh, and you have a Sky dish or you have a Sky um, satellite, uh, internet service, uh, you pay James to watch the BBC as well as to pay the BBC. So, you know, it's, it's, you need to dig a bit deeper to get to the real ecosystem and understand who the players are. As far as news is concerned, you know, our mission is to, to make news available to, to the world. and. I don't see uh, consumers really changing the habit that we've trained them over the last 10 years to be able to expect to get this stuff for free. The model that we back is the one that's funded by advertising. I think the Murdoch organization is going to find it pretty tough um, to retrain the online audience to pay for what they can get elsewhere, unless it's very unique uh, and very hard to come by uh, product. It is an issue for everyone who owns a newspaper, this ongoing transition as the newspaper revenues decline and the gap left by the growth in, uh, in online isn't filling that decline. So they've got a real dilemma and you, you can't blame them for thinking of subscription as the only way forward, um, but I feel it's a niche market and as soon as you get to subscription, you really cut reach and for us in the advertising world, reach is still very much more important uh, than cutting it down to a very niche play.